um so i'm spending a lot of time dari segi uh, studying on anal- analyze analysis uh, data collection daripada our sport scientist so that's what i've been doing um so my focus hockey is number 2 my focus is getting the players to have a good team environment and a family environment dan juga <coughs> on my side and with coach amin's help uh, working a lot on on their physiology dari segi data collection so uh, try to have the best training session as possible for the future Um definitely um there always be a reason why a player especially a good player uh, jika kalau digugurkan pastinya ada ada disebab sebab yang tertentu um saya uh, balik dengan uh, blank sheet tetapi dengan uh, pertolongan coach Amin dan juga persatuan sekali saya akan meneliti dengan uh, sebab-sebab tertentu kenapa dan juga saya akan berjumpa dengan pemain-pemain tersebut yang pada pandangan saya mempunyai kualiti yang baik masih diperlukan saya pasti akan memberi peluang tetapi saya harus uh, berjumpa mereka on one on one and tanya khabar mereka sendiri how interested dia dan juga uh, apa uh, pen, apa yang nak capai uh, so saya tak nak just panggil sesiapa uh, tanpa mengetahui keinginan pemain tersebut dan of course keinginan satu performance is another So kalau uh, players-players yang digugurkan sebelum ni uh, tidak memberikan uh, performance yang membangsangkan dan uh, susah juga untuk saya consider players-players tersebut. So it's it's both it's it's uh, it's uh, your eagerness to play and your commitment to perform. Um, of course it's a very subjective thing but when you compare with uh, teams the european teams i mean we we will we are lacking behind that is that is for sure but uh, i'm trying to uh, balance it where to to accommodate on their strength to override their weaknesses in terms of their speed and and their agility i think players players kebangsaan malaysian kita daripada experience saya mempunyai ketangkasan dari segi kelajuan footwork is is one of the best in the world hockey Uh, of course in terms of aerobic level we might lack um, itu juga mungkin uh, keadaan cuaca kita in Europe is different you can train at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and some countries with high altitude so we lack on that but um, that doesn't give us excuses um, I will I will work on on based on the data yang kita collect is on their strength the strength of the place is speed especially the first 30 40 meters that's where our power is So we will plan everything to suit our players to play at their optimum level. Mm. Of course in saying that your aerobic level is still important but um I think there is a phobia thinking of running 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 running. So as I said I want to come with more scientific approach where the players will understand that kenapa kita buat sesuatu training ni atas alasan-alasan tertentu dari segi scientific. So players akan suka rela untuk melakukan those type of trainings.